Preodontognathus. Preodontognathus, meaning sawtooth jaw, was a genus of ankylosaurian dinosaur possibly from the Oxfordian age Upper Jurassic Lower Calcareous Grid of Yorkshire, England. It is a dubious genus based on a maxilla, and has been erroneously mixed up with iguanodonts and stegosaurs. History and Taxonomy English paleontologist Harry Govier Seeley, who described the genus, first mentioned the holotype, SMCB 53408, a maxilla or upper jaw bone, in 1869. Seeley was at the time compiling a catalogue of the fossils of the Woodwardian Museum. Part of these formed the Forbes collection that after the death of James Forbes Young had in 1862 been donated to the University of Cambridge by his sons Charles Young and Henry Young. The provenance of this particular bone from that collection was unknown, first believed to be found near Tilgate from a lower Cretaceous stratum, it was later thought to have been discovered somewhere near the coast of Yorkshire in a Jurassic layer. Seely initially assumed that it was referable to Iguanodon, and named it Iguanodon philipsii. The specific name honored geology professor John Phillips. The 5-inch long fragment lacked the teeth, only 17 empty tooth sockets being visible. By 1875, after subsequent preparation had uncovered the replacement teeth within the jawbone, Seeley had recognized that it was different, and so gave it the generic name Preodontognathus. The name is derived from Greek prion, saw, edus, tooth and gnathos, jaw, in recognition of the form of its teeth. Because the replacement teeth had not yet erupted, their serrations had not been worn down and many sharp denticula could be seen, shaped as the points of a saw. Because armored dinosaurs were very poorly known at the time, he had little to compare it to, and in light of this it is not too surprising that he later, in 1893, had it mixed up with the Stegosaurian Amosaurus, now Dacentrurus. Stegosaurs are most closely related to the Ankylosaurs within the Thyreophora. At this time, he named a species Amosaurus philipsii based on a femur, YM-498, but also provisionally equated this species to Preodontognathus philipsii despite the two species being based on non-comparable material. This was extremely confusing as both shared the same specific name, see at the bottom. It led to a later misunderstanding by some authors, assuming Amosaurus philipsii was nothing but Periodontognathus philipsii reassigned to Amosaurus. However, this is precluded by the mere fact that both species have been based on different type specimens. After this time, Periodontognathus was generally considered to be a stegosaurid, although at least one author, Baron Franz Nopxa, recognized that it was not, and assigned it to a Canthopholididae, which we would recognize as not a sordae. Alfred Sherwood Romer also recognized that it was an Ankylosaurian, although he synonymized it with Hyliosaurus. Peter Galton reassessed the genus in 1980 and established that it was a distinct genus, which he compared to Priconodon and Sorpelta and assigned to not a sordae. While his assessment of it as a type of Ankylosaurian has been accepted, his belief that it was valid was not and it has been usually considered a dubious genus of uncertain ankylosaurian affinities since then. Amosaurus philipsii As mentioned, Seeley named a femur Amosaurus philipsii in 1893, which has become confused with this animal, due to being discussed in the same article, and considered to possibly be the same genus, and due to them having the same specific name. Amosaurus philipsii, now known as Dacentrurus philipsii or Amosaurus philipsii, depending on how an author denotes dubious species, is a dubious species of Stegosaurian from the Maltinoalite member of the Coralionoalite formation, Slingsby, North Yorkshire. Galton, 1983, found it to have no diagnostic features, and that its major significance was of being the only record then known of Oxfordian Stegosaurians. The femur, which is in three pieces, is that of a juvenile. Paleobiology As an Ankylosaurian, Preodontognathus would have been a slow quadrupedal herbivore, built low to the ground, and possessing armor as a protective feature against theropods and other carnivores. It was a rather small animal, a few meters long, if the Oxfordian date is correct this might be seen as a feature shared with all early nautosaurids. Miscellany The double I at the end of the specific name for both Preodontognathus and Amosaurus philipsii is an old formulation and is today not done. The extra I has not been formally removed and is the only valid spelling under the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, but authors sometimes leave it off. For that matter, as mentioned above regarding the name of Amosaurus philipsi, Preodontognathus will sometimes be referred to as Iguanodon philipsii. Seeley's original use of a capital to write philipsii is now no longer conventional, lowercase being used for the beginning of all specific epithets even if they were derived from personal names, resulting in this case in a philipsi.